Now, big news for Metro Nashville schools as they make decisions about the upcoming fall semester. Sources tell News 4 Metro Nashville schools will start remotely for everyone. News 4's Shelby Stevens joining us live from the school board. So, Shelby, walk us through the latest this afternoon. Well, Holly, the district plans to give us more information in an hour, so we'll have more details then. But for now, they tell us that sources tell us that students and teachers will start the fall semester remotely. Now, this news comes after the biggest spike in COVID-19 cases for the Nashville area, with 688 cases in the past 24 hours. We talked to the state's education commissioner, Penny Schwinn, yesterday about virtual learning. Now, she says that they... Uh, uh, parents have concerns about virtual learning, about it being effective, especially younger kids learning how to read. Now, she says that the districts, uh, she's suggesting that the districts prioritize in, in person learning for younger grades. She also tells us that the state is working on how they can build early literacy programs in the state as well for parents to use while their students work remotely. Of course, we are going to be at the press conference at one o'clock with Metro schools or virtually at least. We're going to talk to them about what happens if all of these tablets and uh, and technology and hotspots that they plan to give to these students, what happens if they break or they don't work? effectively. Back to you, Holly. All right, Shelby, with the latest. Now, when students do go back to school, we know that masks, temperature checks, and social distancing will all be incorporated. Tennessee Education Commissioner Dr. Penny Schwinn also says there's a plan for not if, but when a student or teacher catches the virus. Regardless of whether you're in Metro Nashville or in Shelby County that have some spikes in cases or you're in a more rural community with a few cases, we are expecting that a number of our schools will have at least one case sometime this year. Now, the Department of Education has partnered with the Department of Health to come up with a plan for when that happens. It'll be released before the end of the week.